Oh, hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Shechen. And uh, there's the Oder River. And we haven't gone far from the last time we were here. Uh, I actually went to a restaurant right here called Colorado, which obviously is American themed. I'll, uh, I'll show you what I had. So take a look at this. So this is Colorado. You'll note it's um, got a cool vibe in here. They have a Native American soup, a hunting soup. I almost got it. There's my popcorn and some tea. And the buffalo wings are coming and some pasta. That's right, that's right. I guess Colorado is as American as you can get. As American as this native of native right here, right through the glass. It's got a Jack Daniels garlic sauce, so um, I'll pay for it later. Cheers. That's a good wing. Really good wing. Here, look. I couldn't eat them all. I have to save room for the main meal, but these were awesome, as you can see over there. And now the main course, the toriyadi. I forget what I have inside of it. It just looked yummy, look. Mm. All right, so uh, with Colorado behind us and the most politically incorrect meal I've ever heard of, well, it's not the most, but as a Native American, oh my God, this dog wants me to play with him. Look, he's asking. He's got a stick in his mouth. He's like, come on, John. I don't blame him. Now, this is an interesting statue we got right here. It looks like the guy is holding up a stick. Now, maybe I'm new, so I don't really understand it, but maybe the locals can tell me what this represents right here. Is he holding up a stick? Huh. Wow, Poland. It's a great statue. So note, we're walking away from some older building. And then these are your waterfront commercial buildings, if you will. I might have uh, kind of glanced at a map just to get an idea. There doesn't appear to be a littered amount of restaurants. So we're not going to bother. We're going to walk a little bit through this park and we're going to zigzag over to the city center and see what's going on over there. But since I love parks, I could I could not not check this one out. And what I was secretly looking for is like a tea house. Like, doesn't this look like a tea house right here? This guy right here? Kind of does. It's cute. And look at this. I don't know if they did it intentionally, but it looks like the cross using Poland's colors. I like it. And again, I don't, this is, this is just an interesting thing. I, I noticed this in sections of Warsaw as well, but like these more, we'll say more contemporary apartment buildings, or at least they look contemporary to me with the color. It's just quite a contrast. I, I wonder if when you get out of like the inner limits of the city, like what kind of apartments do they have? I assume they have like the old school big communist buildings. But look at that green. Love it. The only thing that would be better would be pink. It's a pretty building. Now you guys didn't see it, but you're gonna see it momentarily. I wish I was here. I wish I was gonna be here for a bit because I found a concert that I really wanna go to. And I'm not just saying that to be facetious, but I think down in the, uh, in the theater, which I think is down there directly across the port of Szczecin, look at this. We have Sylvester Ostrowski, and more importantly, more importantly, oh, it's Kenny Garrett. Sorry, Kenny, for the response. From a distance, all I saw was the Kenny and the G, and I was like, oh my God, Kenny G's gonna be here? I was like, Poland really has everything. But it's not Kenny G, so joke's on me. All right, back to the park. 
So for my park lovers, check out this beauty. Check out, ooh, I love it. You got all these buildings, but they're circled around this beautiful park. One of the first things, like when I was in Poland, when I moved to Poland, and I got to go to the city of Katowice, and I went to look at the parachute uh, jump where they were training people to, you know, jump <laughs> for the paratroopers or whatnot. But anyway, that park was gorgeous. And I was like, they set the bar so high. And now I'm looking here. And this is just, this is glorious. Love it. Again, Poland, I've said this before and I'll say it again. You do parks better than others, other countries. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Look at this right here. As much as I want to dwell on my serious questions, but look at this. What is this? Is this the home of a hedgehog? I have never seen this before. You know, up until when I was a kid, Sonic the Hedgehog was the whole rage, but uh, I didn't realize, one, that hedgehogs are real, and two, that they have homes here in Poland. Wow. Wow. I learn something new every day, every day. You know, first they take care of the hedgehogs, which you saw over there, but then look at this. Some good Samaritan gave their beer, their corona to this tree to help it grow. Whew, bunch of humanitarians here in Poland. Bunch of humanitarians. I'm still in love with this park. I'm trying to figure out which way to go to still take it in, but also kind of get more than just the park. <laughs> This is cool. Look at this. It's like a bona fide path. But look what I found right, right here. Look at this water fountain. This is awesome. Uh, there's the rooster. I mean, the eagle. Down below for the insignia. There's your water. And then look at this creature right here. What is this thing? They did a good paint job, though. I'll give them that for credit. Another apartment building. You know, you know what this town feels like to me? The more that I walk it, it feels like a bunch of little, like, I won't say villages because that's not what the word is. Um, you know what? Actually, I will use the word village. It's like there's different sections, but it has like, even though it's a major city, it has like a small town feel. That's what's throwing me off. Because, you, as I said, you got these parks with these little neighborhoods next to it. And then you get over a little bit. There's a government building thrown in. A university. Some landmarks. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. So I realize now what this uh, park reminds me of. It reminds me of Saxon Gardens in Warsaw. But without any of like the Romanesque. Uh, fountains and sculptures. It's just purely the nice old trees and the relaxation components that people living in the city would need. And as I say that, now I'm getting flashbacks to Lublin because see, all these cities just kind of morph together for me as I travel. But look at this right here. And for Bielostok as well, actually. Yeah. Here's the apartment buildings that I always look for. I shouldn't, but I do. So here we are in my developments, if you will. I like how that they've added flair to these buildings though by giving them different color. And look, free exercise equipment. But see, where I'm from, we don't have any of this. So whenever I see it, where whatever Polish city that I'm in, I always am fascinated by it. It's cool. Like, I'm curious, like, when these specific buildings were all built. Because I like the history about it. Because it looks like walking through this complex right here, they go on for a bit. And then, across the way, there's a whole other set of buildings. And look at these ones. These have those giant numbers on them. And they're, and they're big. Those are directly across the street. Those remember... But honestly, do you know what those remind me of? They remind me of when I lived in Yalta. 
But there's your numbers, kind of nondescript in their buildings. These smaller ones, I think, have a little bit more style. But I wonder what they look like inside. It's not like I've, it's not like anyone has popped in and said, "Hey, John, come on in," because I, one, I can't speak Polish very well. Okay, not at all. But so I'm always curious what these apartments look like. Oh, look what's coming up! Are those cherry blossoms? I think those are. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Let me look. Is this the first glimpse of spring? And too bad when I show this, it's going to be in the month of April, probably. True. True story. <laughs> so for people that want a proper city tour, here you go. Now you're getting it, right? Oh, those buildings are so high. But I did manage to get to the center. This is what I was looking for. Trying to find the circle. And I was hoping there was going to be some like huge monument or some worker unite propaganda thing. I know it sounds very stereotypical, but I found it in Krakow even. Now this is kind of cool. So you got this apartment building right here, okay? And you go a block that way and you have a Bidranka. But then if you turn and you go this way and they have a huge mall with a, with a, 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 a Sean, or is it Oshan? And uh, I mention that because with inflation here, your money's going farther if you go to the other grocery store. I remember when I was working in Krakow and that was a conversation among the staff was that the locals, if you really want to save money, there's one grocery store you'd go to over another. I assume that's still the same. Have a nice little cafe right here called The Artisan. We aren't just walking aimlessly by the way. I, I, I do have a plan. I think. <laughs> Oh, it's so weird. Okay, so the building right above us, right there, the colorful one, it's, I had something to say, but really I don't. I just want to point out that, look at it, <laughs> right next to the giant glass one behind it. It's such a contrast. It's so cool. Um, I was going to say, let's go underneath the street, but I don't think it's going to happen. All right, let's uh, let's do this. We're gonna cross the street, and for my goal. Although I see my church in the background. Thank God. Again, we really are in the middle of all of this residential stuff. Like, look at this. I'm amazed. Oh, and I got colder. I had to put my hat on. Hope you guys don't mind. So on the way here. Um, on the train, something kind of curious happened to me. Uh, there was a guy that got on who was selling like some drinks and stuff like that. And usually, usually this doesn't happen. But this guy was walking up and down the down the uh, the uh, aisle, and he's whistling. He wasn't even like asking people for stuff. He was just kind of walking slowly and whistling. I thought it was bad luck to whistle indoors. That's what really took my took my attention. But anywho, just sharing life. Again, this is common more in cities, but not where I grew up. Look at this mural right here. This mural rocks. Look at that. That's beautiful. See, I want more art. More art like this, not the graffiti. I should have known it's a school. That would explain why there was an astronaut on the side of the building. Uh, right here is a tree that I'm learning. I thought these were like, from a distance I always thought these were nests. Until Miss Dominica has straightened me out and told me that this is mistletoe. And is a invasive species. 
And I always thought it was a good luck charm, that mistletoe. What do I know? So here's where I actually wanted to walk to on a map. It's just a big circle. But in Moscow, I'm sorry, in, <laughs> in Warsaw, you always go to the circles and it seems like there's always something cool going on and the buildings look nice. And I mean, how can you go wrong? We're right next to the to the Polish post office. Again, something that the country is so proud of, if I remember right. It is like amazing how much people rave about the post office here. Ooh, okay, now we're getting into some cool buildings. On our true walking tour. You know what I have not found though? Wedding dresses. This is not much of a city without wedding dresses. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know. Now, it's Pope John Paul Street right here. I wonder. There's a giant green <laughs> estate or something down there. I'm sure we could walk down to it if we were really inclined. But uh, more importantly, here are the, uh, here's some of the homes. This building right here. It's got a little, uh, I could be wrong, but it has a little Art Nouveau touch to it. Huh. I remember right, during the war, uh, I want to say like 60% of the city was destroyed. From the Allies, of course. Um, in fact, a lot of the destruction, especially at the ports, especially at the boatyards and stuff, a lot of the sabotage was from the, the underground army from the Polish. Uh, oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Look at this. See, now, if you go down to, like, Zakopane, no, not Zakopane, to, um, come on, camera. Camera's possessed. If you go to, like, to Katowice, Katowice has a whole, like, row of buildings like this. And as you know by the signs, there's a musical fountain, there's the sports arena, there's a puppet theater, the Duke's Castle. There's all these good stuff. We are not going to have time to hit all that stuff. We can only walk so much. But what I was trying to find, and I have, is I was trying to figure out where the restaurant cafes um, especially for people that come to the, the come to these areas that's what they're looking for but look at this place this is pretty cool oh I see the desserts in there Ooh. love the building it's beautiful I'm gonna kill the pronunciation so bear with me so we're on Plak Grunwaldski Did I say that right? <laughs> hey, at least I saw a sign for the cathedral, so I'm going in the right direction. So uh, right next to me is the Sailor's Monument. It was built in the 1970s. And this whole stretch right here, uh, I'd say similar to the houses where we walked around, these are homes from the 19th century that um, were destroyed and then many of them were rebuilt. awesome and again for you restaurant folk who aren't like me who just immediately go to the first place you see this whole row on Pope John Paul II Lane Street whatever they're calling it uh, are a bunch of restaurants all the way down lining it and then there's looks like there's um, I won't call them food trucks but in the middle there's other places to eat as well all right, so as we leave that kind of cool area, look what I found right here. What is this? Blues Brothers, and then uh, is this Laika, the dog that went into space? No clue, no clue. Got the big radio tower television station probably up there. PZM. I was gonna mention one, one thing that I have noticed being over this way. Things are a little bit more expensive than other parts of Poland. And all I can guess is 
Maybe it's because of our proximity to Germany. I noticed that uh, you can pay in euro, or at least um, at the restaurant where I ate at for Colorado, they will let you pay in euro, but they'll they won't give you change in euro. So, just a little tidbit. As uh, I head back to my hotel, now I feel like I'm in the city. I feel like I'm in like proper city. I mean, this looks like the center of everything. We did kind of do a giant loop as well. <laughs> it actually is quite a contrast to the first part of when we were just kind of walking around the side streets near the churches and stuff like that. <laughs> That's city life though, right? Well, we are fast approaching the, uh, the square where I want to say 10,000 people had marched onto the uh, communist uh, government building. I don't know enough details to get into it, but I did see some of the information and read. It's crazy. But it also explains the pictures I saw on uh, the people. I, and I'm smiling because it's a little uncomfortable because I didn't really get all the... I don't know enough to talk about it, but I did want to recognize that the square where that happened is right over there. And in my case, still a little bit away, but uh, we're heading back. And look at this, so you got a Berlin kebab place. German influence is still here. So uh, I'm gonna leave a question for everyone. Maybe you can put this on. Actually, I have a couple questions. Question number one, how many people have been to this city? Question number two, where is another city in Poland that you have not have, sorry, that you have been to that I should check out? I mean, granted, this is getting towards the end of my week-long trip, so it might be a while until I get back, but I would love to have some more ideas uh, and more places to see. Uh, we hit the north west this time, but, uh, you know, there's plenty of country. Just putting that out there. So we just crossed the street, and I spotted this a little bit earlier. Is this beautiful white tower, and I don't know what it is, so we're going to check it out real quick. Could be a church. Could be nothing. Could just be a good-looking old building, if you know what I mean. But notice how it's a little bit quieter over here. Less lights, all that stuff. It's because, well, guess what? We're kind of out of all that busyness. If I couldn't read, I'd say, Poland, you're very progressive with your two men together. But it's not. It's uh, Bogosław the Tenth and Anna Yagielka. Yagielanka in fourteen ninety one. All right, maybe my centuries are wrong. So it's Bogosław and Anna, and they united the two houses, and that's when this became part of Poland. How am I doing? Is that right? Sorry about the thing about them being progressive. It just it looked that way to me. I couldn't tell it that that was a woman at first. It happens. I have no idea where we are. This looks like a castle, doesn't it? <laughs> See, it's what happens. See, you come with me, you never know where you're going to end up. But this looks like a church right here. I'm telling you, it's a church. And I just saw the sign. It is. It's Zamek. It's the castle of something. It's not in English, so I can't make it out. But here you go. Because clearly you can read the sign from here. So we're in this old castle, which is beautiful. Wonderful courtyard. Uh, i got some people behind me. Too bad. Look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay. I'm glad we walked over here. I'm glad you guys made me do it. Look at this. Oh, the moon's out now. This is beautiful. Bet you no one knew this was here. Look it up there. Look at this clock. Check out that clock right there. That is awesome. 1864. And I think the opera's here. 
the ballet, all that stuff. Well, I just saw this lady walk out. The Whoa. Whoa. I know sometimes I've been bad, but this is never the solution. Never. God, that'd be awkward. See? Check out this little, um, some restaurants all right around here. Jabka. It's a Thai restaurant. And, and I don't, I want to say this is a church. I don't know. We'll find out in a moment. <laughs> The little jazz club here and uh, another bar and a funky colored building. Not to be confused with funky cold Medina. And oh my god, I see McDonald's. Oh, splendid. Well, this is a buzzkill, folks. This building right here that I thought was a church, it's the old city town hall. Well, isn't that exciting? And these cobbles are ridiculous. God. Look at the arches, though. This in itself is worth... Oh, whoa, look at that. That's awesome. It's beautiful. And then I guess if you're looking for Chinatown right here, you got... Uh, well, this wouldn't work. That would be weird. If you're looking for Asian Town, you have an Indian restaurant, Tokyo, Thai fusion. But look at these buildings right here. Look at this. This is this community has so many different styles. It's crazy. I don't I don't get it. I don't. I believe we found Old Town is what is is what has happened. <laughs> yes, I'm like 100% sure we're now in Old Town cuz where else do you get a building like that? But then right across the street you get this. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Yes, it's to the designers of these buildings. Sorry. I don't mean to rant, because I think it's cool that they've redone stuff and rebuilt stuff. But you would think that why not add the same style right across the street? We're leaving that part of Old Town. The cathedral's in the background over there. Uh, as I say, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed oh, at this point. All right, so uh, we crossed the street from part of Converted Old Town. The cathedral that you would have seen in my previous video is right there in the background. And then this dichotomy, is that the word I'm looking for? Of the old versus the giant apartment buildings, again, right here. Very, very fascinating. We're going to try to get into this church. This was the last thing on my checklist of this tour of this very interesting city. And I don't know if it's open or not, guys, because it's like 5.30 right now. And I don't know. I mean, it's if this is the right church, I think this is the, I think this is the first church in this area. Wow, I feel so small. They must have a crypt area. The present church, because of the ground, has shifted. Oh, okay, so they did. They had to lift this thing up. <laughs> Look at that. So I guess it's it's fitting that we're here. This is this is actually not the. <laughs> this is a Gothic church, and this is the Church of Saint John. We made it in. So here you go. It's dark. Well, I think there we have it, guys. So that was St. John's uh, Gothic Church. See the front of it right there? 
interesting style, to say the least. There was a woman in there. That's why we didn't get too close, because I could tell she actually was in the middle of prayer. And again, we want to be respectful. So I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for coming along with me on this trip. Uh, I hope you took something from it. I hope you enjoyed the walk. And um, maybe you'll add this place to your next adventure too. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Until next time. Peace.